Hello, everybody. As a certified pharmacogenomics specialist, I want to introduce you to pharmacogenomics, why you should care about it and how it can benefit you. In the US, we are extremely fortunate to have access to medication therapy through our very well-established healthcare system. However, did you know that most medication therapies are based on trial and error? The way your body will react to a medicine is really a mystery until you take it and it either works or it doesn't. On the safety aspect, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, notes that side effects from medication therapy is responsible for over a million emergency room visits every single year. Pharmacogenomics is a very easy way to eliminate the trial and error and also significantly reduce the incidence of adverse drug reactions. So what is this pharmacogenomics? The CDC defines it as a gene test to find out how a person's DNA will affect their response to medicine. Think of someone who's suffering from pain, and even at the maximum dose of their pain medication, they're still suffering. And sometimes the label peel seeker is assumed when the only problem could be that variants in this person's genes is causing the medication to work either too slowly or too fast. Most pain medications require activation in the body to work the way they're supposed to. So poor activation means inadequate pain relief. A pharmacogenomics test can help to identify and fix this. Who here doesn't know someone suffering from some form of cancer? Can you imagine personalizing chemotherapy so you can maximize effectiveness and reduce toxicities, hence reduce side effects? A pharmacogenomics test can help to identify the right cancer drug in the right dose for the right patient, and this is supported by the Mayo Clinic. In current times, a lot of people are suffering from anxiety or maybe depression from the pandemic, life difficulties, or monkeypox. And it usually takes weeks or months of trial and error to find the right medication and get people feeling better in time. A pharmacogenomics test can help to narrow the list of trial and error medications and help to get people to the state of happiness a little bit faster. Gene testing my mom was life-changing for my family. Her test results showed that she has a variant that lowers her sensitivity to a common anticoagulant called warfarin. You see, she's a post-stroke patient so anticoagulation or stopping blood clots is crucial to preventing a repeat stroke. Knowing her test results, I was able to ensure she's on the right therapy, and this is peace of mind for myself and my family members. Pharmacogenomics plays a big role in other areas, obesity, heart disease, and your healthcare team can help you navigate all of this. Most people who come to me for testing are usually concerned about what's going to happen to their gene test after the fact. Is it going to affect their healthcare premiums? Is it going to affect their employment? Well, you'll be happy to know that. The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, was enacted in 2008 to prevent any discrimination based on genetic information. So here's our take-home message. With a simple cheek swab, we can identify variants to save millions of lives, billions of dollars, and uncountable hours wasted on inadequate therapies. By gene testing yourself and your family, you are breaking through and taking control of your medication health. Thank you.